Infrastructures make worlds and destroy them. Canada, and in particular Northern Quebec, is the site of vast extractionary infrastructures and industries in agriculture, forestry, and mining. These regions have histories of colonialism, inequity, violence, and intense environmental degradation and contamination. Currently, these industries are also being radically reformulated through new information and computational technologies. These changes have bearing on the future. Quebec's situation is both local and global. All over the world, humanity faces the question of how to inhabit a planet in ruins and how to contend with the planetary scale impacts of extractionism, new information technologies, and industrial agriculture. In response to this contemporary situation, this research studio, Reclaiming the Planet, wishes to ask how we might reclaim and reimagine such extractionary infrastructures for the future. The studio approaches this problem in two directions. First, examining histories of the industry and the impact of new information technologies in a B2B to Miskaminang while engaging with how information technology and design will shape the future. We ask critical questions such as, how do we wish to live? And what worlds do we want to build? How do we imagine more egalitarian, just, and sustainable infrastructures? What shall we do with the ruins of extractionary and industrial infrastructures? How will information technologies impact these futures? In the course of this video, you'll see some of our responses. These are the beginning projects of a full year and a half studio and research project on themes of reclamation and speculative design at planetary scales. Of course, re-envisioning worlds is not easy. We have five steps we imagine might progress towards such a goal. First, we map the territory. Each group of architecture students created mappings at different scales of history and geography of each infrastructure. Second, we move to speculative design. We must seek to reimagine and rethink how we represent and therefore intervene in infrastructures. Third, we must reimagine ecology. How do we delineate and understand the boundaries of a system or infrastructure and its effects? Fourth, reclamation. How do we seek to reimagine the ecology and for whom? Reclamation is not repair. It is not a return to some mythic past. It is a claiming again for new forms of life. And finally, how do we inhabit these landscapes? What forms of ecos, as in home and economy, and demos, sphere of political action and agency, can we imagine for ourselves and perhaps for other beings as well? In our final moments, we return to representation, but now is a question of habitat, agency, and ultimately politics, the realm where new publics and new lives can be made visible to power and to action. Mm-hmm. 